We all know meteorites can be a real nightmare. Just look at the Chicxulub asteroid that ended the dinosaurs. Or the 1908 Tunguska event that hit Siberia with a blast the power of a nuclear bomb. But what if a massive meteorite strike billions of years ago helped life thrive on Earth instead of destroying it? A recent study reveals that billions of years ago, a colossal asteroid, far larger than the Chicxulub asteroid, collided with Earth. Surprisingly, this catastrophic impact didn't spell doom. Instead, it set the stage for life to emerge. But how is that even possible? How could a single meteorite shape the trajectory of evolution? And what would our planet look like today if this event had never occurred? Let's break it down. Billions of years ago, when Earth was in its early stages and life was just starting to form, the planet wasn't exactly calm. Several massive asteroids crashed into the planet, causing massive damage and reshaping the Earth's surface. The evidence of these impacts is still visible today in ancient rock layers on Earth and in the craters on the Moon's surface. Scientists studying the Archean Eon found at least 16 major asteroid impacts. Each of these asteroids was over 10 kilometers wide. That's about the same size or a bit bigger than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Now we have a pretty good understanding of what happened when that dinosaur killer asteroid struck and how it affected life on Earth. But when we look back billions of years to the time of these earlier impacts, things are a bit unclear. Like how did those massive collisions shape Earth's environment? And what did they mean for the primitive bacterial life forms that had already started to appear? These questions are very important because for the first two billion years, giant impacts happened every 15 million years. Between about 3.5 billion and 3.2 billion years ago, we have clear evidence of these massive impacts. We're not talking about small events either. These were dinosaur killer level asteroids slamming into the planet and likely causing mass extinction level events and yet life managed to survive. Somehow early life forms endured, adapted and even thrived after these catastrophic events. So why didn't life go extinct? What exactly happened to those early life forms during the massive impacts? Well, to explore this, scientists have turned their attention to one particularly enormous impact called the S2 meteorite event, which happened around 3.2 billion years ago. This asteroid was estimated to be at least 200 times more massive than the one that ended the dinosaurs. Despite the devastation it must have caused, this impact may have played a surprising role. It might have actually helped jumpstart life on Earth in ways we're only beginning to understand. Keep watching as we explore this terrifying yet equally fascinating meteor event and its impact on the evolution of life on Earth. To begin, let's first establish some important context. Meteorites are older than our planet dating back about 4.5 billion years. These rocks are celestial travelers, ancient fragments of asteroids, planets, and even comets that plummet through Earth's atmosphere to land on our surface. So here's how it works. A meteorite strike occurs when a space rock known as a meteorite crashes into the surface of a planet, moon, or another celestial body. This is the dramatic end to the rock's journey, and it all begins when a meteoroid, a small fragment of a comet or asteroid, enters a planet's atmosphere. As it speeds through, the intense friction and pressure cause it to heat up and glow brightly, creating what we call a shooting star. If the rock is tough enough to survive the heat and make it to the ground, it's officially a meteorite. Meteorite strikes can range from tiny rocks that barely make a dent to huge collisions that leave massive craters behind. For example, some meteorites are so small that we call them micrometeorites, and they land on Earth daily without anyone noticing. About 40,000 metric tons of micrometeorites fall to Earth each year. But larger meteorites called bolides can light up the sky with an explosive display. 
the bigger meteorite strikes are the ones that make the headlines. We often associate massive meteorite impacts with catastrophic events, such as the Chicxulub asteroid. This asteroid struck Earth 66 million years ago and was no ordinary space rock. Measuring between 10 and 15 kilometers in diameter, it struck the planet with the force of a billion atomic bombs. Traveling at a speed of 20 kilometers per second, the asteroid slammed into what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, creating a crater more than 150 kilometers wide. The impact was catastrophic. It sent massive plumes of sulfur and fine dust into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and triggering an impact winter. The temperature dropped dramatically, causing plant life to die off and ecosystems around the globe collapsed. This environmental disaster led to the extinction of about 75% of life on Earth, including the dinosaurs who had been the dominant life form for over 200 million years. The impact wiped out many species. However, recent studies show that a massive meteorite can do more than just destroy ecosystems. So, could an early meteorite have actually kick-started life? Well, to answer this, we need to look at a giant space rock that hit Earth during the early stages of the solar system. The S2 meteorite, much larger than the Chicxulub asteroid, may have had some unexpected positive effects on Earth. While its size and impact would have caused significant disruption, a recent study suggests it may have acted as a gigantic fertilizer bomb that could have contributed to the conditions necessary for life to form and thrive. In a recent study led by Harvard University geologist Nadja Draben, the S2 meteorite which struck Earth over 3 billion years ago during the Paleoarchean era may have played a crucial role in the planet's early life. This massive space rock estimated to be 50, 200 times larger than the Chicxulub asteroid, unleashed a cataclysmic event when it hit. When it struck, the impact was so powerful that it could have instantly vaporized the meteorite, sending a massive cloud of rock vapor and dust into the atmosphere and darkening the skies. Also, the intense heat from the meteorite strike could boil the upper layers of the oceans. While such an impact would have been devastating, Nadja Draban's study suggests that the S2 meteorite's effects may not have been entirely destructive. The immense heat and chemicals released could have created conditions that paradoxically helped life form and thrive. He also claims the vaporized materials from the impact may have contributed to a rich source of nutrients, potentially providing the building blocks necessary for life to flourish in Earth's early oceans. This event could have triggered a chain of reactions leading to the emergence of the first complex life forms. During the Paleoarchean era, Earth was frequently bombarded by large meteorites, with impacts happening roughly every 15 million years. While these events were catastrophic, Draban claims the S2 meteorite was different. While he admits that the S2 meteorite caused massive destruction when it first hit Earth, Draban's research reveals that life quickly recovered as the planet's conditions improved. In fact, life didn't just bounce back, it thrived. This rapid recovery is linked to the concept of a fertilizer bomb, where the impact may have enriched the environment, making it more fertile and helping life flourish again. Andrew Knoll, a co-author of the study, further explains that the S2 meteorite was a type called carbonaceous chondrite. A carbonaceous chondrite is a type of meteorite that contains high concentrations of carbon, phosphorus, and other essential elements that are fundamental to life. When the S2 meteorite struck Earth, it released these elements into the atmosphere and oceans enriching the environment. This influx of nutrients would have acted as a catalyst, promoting the development of early life once the planet's conditions stabilized. After this massive collision, the planet underwent some extreme changes. The skies darkened, weathering and erosion on land intensified, 
and we can still see evidence of this in some of the ancient deposits scientists have recovered. Conditions like these would have wiped out modern life, but somehow ancient life persisted. And what's even more fascinating is how this event affected photosynthetic life, the kind that uses sunlight to create energy. One of the first things to happen after the impact was a massive tsunami. This tsunami mixed up minerals and metals from the ocean floor and redistributed them across the planet. This was a game changer for life in the ocean. Before the impact, photosynthetic bacteria that relied on dissolved iron to convert carbon dioxide into sugars weren't doing particularly well. These microbes lived in the upper layers of the ocean where sunlight was abundant, but iron, a key resource, was scarce in those layers. After the impact, though, the tsunami stirred up enormous amounts of iron from deep within the ocean and the Earth's crust. Suddenly, iron-rich water was available at the surface, creating an environment where these bacteria could thrive. At first, the devastation caused by the impact likely wiped out much of the photosynthetic life in the upper ocean layers. But within just a few years, as conditions stabilized, something remarkable happened. A massive bloom of new photosynthetic life spread rapidly across the planet. This new burst of microbial life took full advantage of the iron-rich waters, leading to a boom in biomass. What started as catastrophic conditions, dark skies, raging tsunamis, and widespread devastation, quickly transformed into a thriving biosphere. Microbes that relied on iron for photosynthesis flourished, and this incredible recovery marked a turning point, spreading life far and wide across Earth's oceans. This ability of life to adapt and flourish under such extreme conditions set the stage for something entirely new,